Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? All right. We lived at Felmina's house. Because we were the managers of those apartments on Coronado Terrace. Because we came from Temple Street. And Mom had this friend that was the manager there. I don't know how Mom met that lady. I think through Rosa. Something like that. Okay? So, um, those people that were the managers there were leaving. So then they told Mom, and then Mom talked to Dad, and then it was a good thing. We don't have to pay rent. And we'd be the managers there. We didn't get paid. It was free rent, and but we had to work and clean the apartments that got vacated and paint and scrape and all this stuff. Well, I would help Dad. Danny didn't do anything, and Frank, I don't know. It was up to me. I was a middle kid, so I used to do that. So then we, we lived there for a while, and um, Dad then finally got tired of doing that. And I don't know how it came to be that we then, Felmina, we went to go live at Felmina's house. Felmina had this big house over there, Maltman Avenue, was that it? Maltman, on Sunset. And um, Felmina had this house that had two apartments on the ground floor and two on the second floor. So we got the one on the left side, which had a basement, and Don Pablo helped us to fix that basement up and put uh, paneling, and that was my bedroom and Frank's bedroom down there. And then Don Pablo rented the garage for his woodworking stuff, and I'll have to make a whole other video about Don Pablo. Don Pablo was the brother of Doña Cuba, who was married to Don Rafa, who was a, a, a whole other thing. Don Rafa was a cool guy. Don Rafa made paparotes. But I'll talk about that another time. So we lived at Felmina's house. And Dad used to work all the time fixing everything in Felmina's house, all right? Um, painting and putting up all kinds of stuff, including Noveroles. Fernando Noveroles came over and helped a few times and stuff. Um, so Felmina had this daughter, Nivet. Nivet, Nivet, who thought she was like Hollywood Nivet. Okay, Nivet had left her, Nivet had this really good husband. I remember before Fenina had that house, they had a house across the street over back up the other place that the church had bought and tore that down, but they had a house over there. One time we went over, we used to go over there a lot. So we come over one Saturday or something on the weekend and Yvette had this guy in her bedroom that had gotten beat up, had a fight on the weekend and she took him home and felt sorry for him. So they eventually got married. He was a really nice guy. But Yvette like cheated on him and made a big mess. So Yvette was gone, not married. So one day when we were living in the other house of um, Felmia, Nivet shows up and says, hey, Dad, my father, hey, uh, could I borrow your paint brushes and rollers? My dad used to take care, very good care of his paints and, and brushes because Dad painted all the time. So he had very good equipment and he would clean it and have everything wonderful. So Nivet goes, can I borrow your stuff? And I was standing right there in front of Dad and, and to me in my head I thought, oh, shit, don't do that, Dad. But I didn't say anything. So dad gave his stuff, dad was very like generous and all that kind of stuff. So then she took it and then weeks or months went by and she never brought it back. So then one day dad asked her, well where's my stuff? You know? So then she went and got some stuff that wasn't dad's, all messed up, full of dried up paint, everything fucked up, okay? That day, Dad said, the hell with this shit, I'm moving, let's get out of here. The next day we moved and went to Manzanita. Because Francis, I think, was already living in the front house, so we moved into the back house. And the hell, Felmina. Oh. Felmina over there, they loved Danny. Danny was wonderful. Me and Frankie were little kids, and we were like shit. But Danny was God, you know. Oh, with Cuco. Huh. 
Fenmina, when Dad died, I called up Fenmina and said, hey, Dad had died and stuff, and we're having the funeral. Will you come? No, they weren't coming. Dad killed himself working for Fenmina for years, you know. That was so horrible. You know, wherever you are, Fenmina, I hope you're in heaven because, you know, you don't deserve it.